step into the tomb of her pew. That's where I met her, the zombie prostitute. How much stop animation are you doing these days, besides teaching? Um, I have not been doing a, I, you know, I sort of like, a quit, I've sort of quit the business, actually, about almost 10 years ago. Because towards the end of my animation career, I found that I was chasing around commercials I didn't want to work on. Mm -hmm. Because the money's good and because it's what I did for a living. And if you don't work, you starve. Right. So, uh, you know, there's only so many commercials that I can make for television that uh, involve, uh, you know, gargoyles and skeletons and stuff that I love. So I found myself chasing, like, tampon commercials and beer commercials that I really didn't want to work on. And it, it was starting to take up my whole life. Like, the business of trying to find the job was taking up m more time than animating. And I, I didn't like that. So I quit and became a creator of content, you know, which basically means someone who writes songs and someone who writes comic books. But that doesn't, that, that doesn't pay, or at least it didn't yeah. at all back then. So it was, it was a hard switch. But now I'm getting back into it. We should, oh, never mind. Now I'm getting back into it. I, uh, you know, was working with Fangoria for a while, and I directed six stop-motion spots for their uh, web, streaming web show. And, uh, and now I'm finally writing my first feature-length script. So it's live action, though, but, uh, but uh, I, I'm slowly sort of working my way back into the film business. So, so how would a stop-animation uh, tampon commercial go since you brought it out? Oh, bloody hell. I don't know. Or maybe that's how it goes. Maybe it's bloody hell. <laughs> All right. Um, so are you, are you, I take it you're not doing any bumpers for MTV sci-fi or anything anymore? Uh, no. I, like I said, I kind of quit the business uh, almost 10 years ago. But because I am now very consciously sort of getting back into uh, making films, I, I think it's sort of inevitable that I will end up doing stuff again for people like Sci-Fi or MTV, but I'm not really pursuing that. I, I'm, I'm getting back into film for the reason I wanted to make films in the first place, which is because I felt I had stories to tell or I had bizarre visions I wanted to put on the screen for other people to see, so that's what my focus is. So I should tell you that in the next year, you're going to start seeing shorts of mine popping up at film festivals. Shorts that I made 15 years ago that I never finished, I'm now finishing. So you're going to see those at horror, horror film festivals and fantasy film festivals. And then probably a year later, you're going to see a little, something a little bit more lengthy. And then I'm working my way towards this, uh, this uh, feature-length film, which is, I, I, all I will say is that it's, Horror. It's a comedy horror. How's that? Sounds about right for you. I guess like uh, you know, Mallrats meets Evil Dead or <laughs> Ghostbusters in a forest. I'm not sure. So, uh, are you planning on writing any more books? I am planning on writing more books. Um, I have a uh, my third book was supposed to be delivered about a year and a half ago, but I generally tend to take on more than I can really do, so it's it's very far behind. But it's called uh, How to Pick Up Goth Chicks: The Gate, The Dating Guide of the Damned, and it's a uh, sort of a gothic dating guide. And to be perfectly honest with you, just as I was about to, I finished Ookie Spooky, mm -hmm. and I finished uh, Daddy Big in Japan, the graphic novel, and it was third on the list. And I was just about to start writing it, but I fell in love. And the thought of sitting down and writing all of these fabulous tricks on how to fool women into having sex with you is just like the furthest thing from my mind right now. So it's been a little hard to wrap my brain around it, but it, it needs to get done, so it will get done. All okay. right. Um, so what's new or coming up in your toy line? Oh, the most exciting thing for me right now is I'm doing a uh, Hot Wheels set for the Japanese market. So uh, it's a two-car set that will be exclusive to an Os uh, a Hot Wheels show in Osaka, Japan, mm -hmm. that I'll be attending in November. And one of the cars is a Chichan Worm Wrangler truck, which means that it's a big delivery truck with you know, Chichan art all over yeah. it. And uh, if you don't know what Chichan is, you should go look it up, and I'm sure you'll be kind enough to include a link for your readers. Um, and then the other one is a Deddy hearse. And I posted those images up on my MySpace page so people can check those out. So I'm doing that. Um, I'm working on Pocket Goth Series 2, the plush toy line that uh, is not available in stores. You can only get them at amusement parks and claw machines at places like Walmart. Yeah, uh, We're at Scream Fest, and directly across the street, there's a restaurant called, you know what it's called, the one? No, it starts with a P, I think. It's like a Denny's type place. 
Perkins, that's it. And there's presently, as we speak, one of my pocket gas in their <laughs> claw machine across the street. So, uh, so I'm working on series two of that. And, uh, and then, you know, I, I kind of took a break from the urban vinyl thing for a year, so I haven't put out any vinyl toys this year. So 2008, I think, is going to be a big year for uh, urban vinyl. I, I feel like I kind of disappeared off the map. I don't like that. So I'm most likely putting out a line of Mimo bots, M-I-M-O-B-O-T, mm -hmm. and they are flash drives. You know, like two gig flash drives that you can use on your computer, and they're going to be Deddy, like a, a assortment of Deddy and other characters of mine. Um, and then there's talk of doing a uh, a Deddy and Friends 15 character uh, figure set with Toy 2R, who makes the Key Bears. That's right. spelled Q E E. Right. Uh, so you know, it's always kind of up in the air with those folks. But uh, I think, uh, I mean, if it happens, I'll be very excited about that. And yeah, there's other urban vinyl stuff going on. But okay. Well, since you mentioned uh, Chi-Chan, has there been any uh, mention of reviving the uh, full-length feature? Uh, there was, once upon a time, you know, I signed an option agreement uh, with a company in Hollywood, and they were shopping Chi-Chan around as a f uh, feature-length live-action film. Mm -hmm. And three years later, you know, basically I got what pretty much everybody gets when you sign an option agreement, which is nothing. Yeah. And the film never happened. But the, the rights reverted back to me, mm -hmm. which was the nicest thing that came out of that because, you know, at least I can do stuff with it. So um, I am, well, as you know, making a Cheech on Hot Wheels car. But uh, most recently I've teamed up with Mezco Toys, and uh, together we're sort of developing a, a film. So I have a lot of content and ideas, and Mezco has a lot of contacts. You know, they do the toys for Hellboy and King Kong right. and, you know, big Hollywood licenses. So, you know, uh, sometime in the next few months, we're going to go to Hollywood and just start taking some meetings on Chi-Chan and see if we can do something. And then, you know, in November, I'm going to be in Japan, so I'm going to be pimping the hell out of Chi-Chan over there. Destitute in the terrible repute She's a rotten kind of cute For a zombie prostitute